In today's show, we have a story about the state debate tournament. Students have their own opinions about the student-led conferences. And a story about the snowball candidates, about a friendly competition, and the voting. I'm Morgan. And I'm Aaron, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Recently, the debate team competed at state. Here's how they did. Our team did very, very well, exceptionally well. Uh, the four-team squad had a winning record, um, way on the plus side. I think I did pretty good. Um, we were undefeated going out into the break round. Like, just state alone has taught me, like, so many things. Like, I've done debate and forensics for four years now. But debate state, like going that far in a tournament, one teaches like me how good connections are with other people. There were teams that I went against them and I was nice to them and we were like, you know, we would talk after the round and they would still be nice to me like as we were going up, as we went into like the finals round and they would root us on. It was very fun. I, we had a full roster going out to state so there was a lot of people to talk to. <laughs> if you haven't taken debate before, or you haven't thought about it, or even forensics, I highly recommend it. It's probably one of the best classes at the school. There aren't many that can compete with it. The teacher's really nice. The class is fun to be in. You build friendships that'll last even past like graduation. It's an amazing thing to be a part of and I recommend anyone take debater forensics. Elias Mosier and Omni Ping Johnson took second place in policy debate. And Madison Sugg and Peyton Sandlin took fourth. Applications are now being accepted for the internship program. Applications can be found on the class of 2021 Schoology page. A Washington representative will be here on Tuesday. If you're interested in talking to them, please sign up in the counseling office. Battle of the Bands is February 20th. Tickets will be $3 in advance and $5 at the night of the show. You can buy those tickets during lunch. Starting tonight are the student-led conferences. Students have differing opinions about the, the conferences. Hey Vikes, last week we asked you about how you felt about student-led conferences. Most of you said you didn't really like them, but one person said that they're okay. One person said it was probably the worst thing ever. Another person said that it was very, very stupid. Next week, we're going to be asking for TikToks to feature on SVTV. So go ahead and start sending those in at Seaman Viking TV on Instagram. Have a good day. No matter your opinions about the conferences, they start tonight. So make sure you attend. Now, after the break, we'll be back with sports. Got a teddy bear? Want to viciously throw the bear like the animal it is? Hot diggity dog, the animal teddy bear toss is set for next Friday, February 14th, during the halftime show. All of the proceeds will be donated to our young lives. Brayden Girls has been selected as the fan of the week. Congrats, Brayden. If any girl is still interested in Girls Swim, and need to see, that they need to see Mr. Tuck or Mrs. Lippy for information. On Wednesday, there will be a preseason information meeting for track and field. This meeting will be in room 925 after school. You might have noticed some snow flurries this morning on your morning commute. Let's go over to Zoe for the official weather forecast. Happy TGIW Vikings. Are you guys ready for this long, warm weekend? We'll talk about that more, but first let's talk about this winter weather. As most of you guys probably noticed on your way to school this morning, it has been snowing. 
Not much snow is expected, only about a trace to two inches are. As you can see, by eight o'clock tonight, the snow will be moved out and replaced with rain. Just in time for the snowball, our temperatures will be reaching the mid 50s, which is perfect for outside pictures. Thursday is going to be very, very cold with only a high of 22 degrees and negative wind chills making it feel even colder. But by this weekend, it will be warming back up again into the mid 50s. I recommend going outside and enjoying it while it lasts because by next week, we're going to be cooling back down again. Now back to your anchors. The snowball assembly was just last hour. Here's Allie on how to vote for your favorite candidate. Happy Nerd vs. Jock Day Vikes. I'm here with Mr. Riley to talk about how to vote for snowball candidates. So how are we going to go about that? Okay, so voting will take place during CALP or during your 7th hour class today. We'll have uh, ballots online. So just go to your class page, class of 2020, 2020, 2021, whatever you are. Um, go to that page. There will be two links, one for king, one for queen. Um, use your school email address to log in, uh, vote for one of those five people, hit submit, and you're good. Awesome. He also has some information about the dance, so what is that? Dance is Saturday night from 7.30 till 10.15, 10.30 ish, somewhere in there. Um, $5 per person, uh, $10 per couple, which is a bargain. And also, we will have a coat closet set up, so if it's going to be cold, I don't know. You'll have to ask Josh. Um, but if it's going to be cold, we will have a place for you to leave your coat, shoes, phone, that sort of thing. It'll be secure. It's going to be locked down by the military. Not even joking. Okay, awesome. Make sure and vote today and come to the dance on Saturday. Now back to your anchors. Voting closes at the end of the school day. Now that you know how to vote, let's go see what our candidates look like first thing in the morning. Mason, get up. You mean like time on the end? You're not supposed to be here. Oh, it's not what it looks like, I swear. Look at this. Let us go back to bed. Let's get on, leave him alone. <laughs> Okay, there's a step. <laughs> Get the car, boy. Okay. Buckle. Put him in the trunk. Oh! We should sit. Get up! Come on, we gotta go. Come on, get up. Look at me, get up. <laughs> Haley, I'm not doing this. Come on, get up. Right now. Haley, I now. just went to bed. I don't care, get up. Come on, get your glasses on. Mm. Come on. Fine. You look peachy. <laughs> I can't even put my jacket on. <laughs> Two more. Nope, three more. Okay, I nope. have never one, one more. One more. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want, you can okay. ride me. Okay, Woo! okay, nope. We're gonna turn. Right this way, my beautiful boy. <laughs> Come back! Oh Come God. back! I still hurt you. That was a beautiful hat. Get my weed ready, baby. Hey, God. My Snapchat memory is going to be full. You're not shopping. Shopping for Mason. Yeah, that's mine. You're a Walmart. Have you forgotten you went to like Christian Can I make him up? Well, I have to like rip the plate off. Get up. Come on. Get up. Drayton. Get up. 
Try and get up. <laughs> I will. I will. In all the land. Get in, boy. Oh, big Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dude, there's still like air forces back here. Oh my god, great right back here. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Yay. Leave. Look at me. Get up. Leave. Oh, get up. Come on, we gotta go. Smack yourself in the face. Morgan! Wakey, wakey! Uh huh! Come on! Yeah, come on! I'm not doing it! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> what was that? She's lovely in the morning. <laughs> I'm leaving that open. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. Oh my god, what time is it? Like 5 30? 5.45. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> Chase. Get up, buddy. <laughs> Come on! No! Chase! He asked me if I needed anything. <laughs> I said, no, I'm just looking. <laughs> Good morning. Mm. Brayden. Mm. Look at me. Mm. <laughs> morning. Good morning, sunshine.
make sure to vote for your favorite candidate. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great five-day weekend.